back in my art room. Welcome back. Glad to be doing another video after a long, tiring week. Anyway, I'm going to relax and do something I love, painting. I'm going to do another Wicked strainer pour. I love this strainer. And the last one I did, everybody seemed to really like it. I'm just going to try some different colors today. Maybe some um, fall colors. Orange, red, yellow, and a really dark green. Alright, so let's get started and I'll turn you down. If I can figure this new camera thing out. No. Sorry I'm, if I'm touching anything. I shouldn't be. You can see this okay. I think I got it. Let's make sure it's good and tight. I wouldn't want this to fall on my painting. You can see this? Okay, that looks better. I want this down more. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've got my strainer pour in the center and I've mixed up all my paints. So I'm going to use some, uh, this is a Hooker's Green DPU. It's a heavy bodied paint by Liquitex. So you need to m mix more Floetrol in with this because it's very thick. So I did a three to one on this one. Okay, it's a dark green. And this is it here. So it's just Floetrol and water and paint. And I've got my red, which is a house paint that I've already mixed with my Floetrol, one to one. And I've got yellow, the same Artist Loft yellow, one to one mixed up. I've made a light yellow out of the Artist Loft yellow and the white. And then I've made an orange out of the red and the yellow. So we're going to give this a whirl. And get my rag ready. This is a. Um, when, no, 10 by 10 canvas or four, I think it's 25 centimeters. Twenty-five centimeters by twenty-five centimeters or ten by ten inches. Okay, this is um, a fruit strainer. It's from Pampered Chef. Okay, so I'm going to start with some dark green. I'm going to stand up and do this. I have nothing on the canvas at the moment. I think this might be the only time I use the green. Okay, so I think the next color I will use will be the light yellow. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little more of the green. It's almost like a black, it's so dark. I'm going to put the yellow. There's no silicone in this. I'm 
put some dark yellow. Now I think I'll use some orange. some red. Now let's repeat that one more time. It almost looks black, but it's dark green. Okay, so now let's start with the yellow again. And this just runs off the stick nicely, see, in a straight stream. I'm hoping this will look similar to a marigold. But we'll see. Some orange. Save a bit of that maybe for the middle. Starting to look cool. Starting to look really cool. Some more yellow. Wait, I think I need more red. Center that more. There. These are uh, Pretty full of colors too, so. Some dark yellow. and red I guess again this is my last of my orange I guess I could make more if I need it but <clears throat> hope you can hear me okay I do I 
will put my paint mixture in the description below. Below the video, there's a just little arrow you push and you get the description of everything that I am doing. There's a subscribe button, maybe somewhere on the video or in the underneath the video. And a bell, the bell is so you can hit the bell and you'll get more, you'll get a notification when I do another one. And then there's also a like button if you like it, please like it. Or, and then if you scroll way down to the bottom, you'll get comment section. And you can comment on my videos or ask a question. That would be really good. I like hearing all the great comments. You guys have been so great. Wow, this is looking pretty solid here. I'm gonna do some more. Oh, I need red. Some red in here. And I think I'm pretty much trying to get it as close to the edge so I don't have to pour off too much. Red. It's taking a while to pour out here. Put some of this light yellow on top. I should push it. I think I just made enough paint. Okay. Some dark yellow. Okay, come on, this one, <laughs> this one kind of didn't get much yellow on the end there. Oh, that's okay. So, maybe I'll put some red in the middle. Okie dokie, come on. This time I'm going to put my hand under it so it doesn't do a big drip across. muddy there. I just want that to spread more. I don't want to knock this over. I don't want to knock this over so I better be careful. I got more on this side. I don't have any more orange left so Put some yellow in the middle. I think my light yellow is done. 
few drops left. It'll drip down through the middle of the colon or the colander because there's holes in the bottom. So I'll hold it up and I'll let it drip. And then we'll see. So I think this is much pretty much it. So here it goes. Well, <clears throat> I'm just going to go slow. Let it run. I think last time I took it off too soon. Trying to let it go down. Oh, well, isn't that cool? Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, it's time to tip it. I don't want to tip it. It's too pretty. I just go slow. I'm going to move these cups out of the way until I'm ready. See that? I want to take my time. I don't want this to go all wonky on me. I wonder if I should put some a little bit of this black, uh, green paint in the corners. Just to, just to help it. Let's see. Okay, that's enough for there. Doesn't matter what color's on the side. All right, go back now. Come this way. Well, I'm losing some of my shape, but it's okay. There. All 
Wow, still looks great. Still looks awesome. I'll touch up the sides. And there's cells coming out there in the middle. I'll come back this way a little more. Awesome. I think it's great. It's like the inside of a marigold, I think. Or a, a mum. And there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll put the dry results at the end like I normally do. Have a great day and come back soon. Thank you.